Hi, we're at the Hacker Warehouse and I'm getting introduced to a ton of the different badges that people have created all over Khan. And I wanted to show them some of them off to you right now. And a lot of these we've looked at before, but some of them are just so cool. I think the Make It Hacking has to be one of my favorites, but they're all so cool. The Make It Hacking one on the surface, it doesn't look that interesting. It's like, okay, there's some barcodes, but what this does is it's probably one of the more dangerous things to walk around in Vegas with because it will set off almost every alarm when you walk out of a store where they have like the little safety alarms that go off. Probably not the best one to, um, you know, wander around with, but definitely some shenanigans to be had with it. <laughs> some of the other ones which I really like here, I always love great Braden's e-challenge coins. Many put so much effort into so such a small device and they also kind of look great on your shelves. This year is a cool like Simon says like game which is true uh, fully functional you just have to put the battery in. And then there's a whole story which follows a character that he's been building over years of doing these challenge coins. But not there's so many of them. Like the other one I want to point out was the mindset badge, the hacker mindset badge. This is Garrett's badge because he's been writing a book on the hacker mindset. And what's cool about this one is you can't actually pre-order the book yet, but through the badge sale, you get to pre-order the book, which is really cool. Or by buying the badge, you get a pre-order for the book. And this one has a full Raspberry Pi on it so it can simulate keyboards and HID attacks, but then the same thing also looks super nice around conference for it to boot up, and then it has a bunch of different white modes on it. So not only does it look good, but you get a full Raspberry Pi, which is fully hackable as well. Like this one, this one's really cool. But just going through them, even like with the new, the DEF CON badge this year, you have these add-on pieces that stick in and glow up. So it's been really interesting all around Con seeing what people do with the SAOs, or I guess in this case, the, the slide in. This one adds on two SAO ports onto the badge that get powered, so you can continually just can customize your badge. But the one that caught my interest is the sneaky badge, but right before we get to that one, I wanna cover this one, which looks so cool. So many of these don't have batteries in it, so I can't turn them on. This is the Secure Autonomous Surveillance System badge. And what's really cool about this one is it's plugged in with a LoRa radio, so which communicates with the other badges of this type. So when more of these badges get together, and at Con, there's quite a few of them, they interact and it will do different light patterns depending on how many of your friends you're around. I think this one's really neat. But the one which I find most interesting is I've never seen one like this before, is the Sneaky Badge, which is fully customized where you can slide out these letters and slide them back in. But it's not just a pretty badge, there's a full challenge inside it which is also built on the raspberry pi not only does it look really cool and you get the full letter packs but the way you fulfill challenges inside the game is pulling out the letters and sticking them in for it to recognize different letter types and unlock challenges and then there's other challenges within so you, i've been seeing people all over conference customizing these with their handles and using them as like a nice name badge all really cool. I am so curious to see what other badges exist at DEF CON, but for now, all of these. Thank you, Garrett, for allowing us to use them at the Hacker Warehouse, and I know they're for sale there. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching, and hack on.